And you mentioned there that the, the Ambassador Bridge was on its way to resolution in a sense, and Coots was on its way to resolution. One of the things that's come up in the evidence is that at, at this juncture, um, Ottawa could also perhaps have been said to be on its way, perhaps at an earlier stage, to resolution in the sense that a plan, a, an integrated plan for policing a, and was coming together at that point. And that may not have been something that was clearly expressed on the 13th um, to the IRG and or cabinet. So first I wanted to ask you what, what your understanding of that situation was at the time. First of all, from the beginning, from the approach of the very first weekend, um, we heard from various authorities and police of jurisdiction, don't worry, we got this. There's a plan. There's a plan. And for the second weekend, there was a plan. And we have a plan for this, and it's not going to happen. And we've got this. We're, get, we're getting more resources. No, nope, there's a plan. We kept hearing there was a plan. Um, and even, I mean, we heard in, in testimony here that there was uh, a plan on the 13th that the Ottawa Police Services pulled together. Um, I would recommend people take a look at that actual plan, um, which wasn't a plan at all. It was a, a talk about using liaison officers to try and shrink the perimeter a little bit. But as you look at the annex for you know, how the troops are deployed, how the police officers are deployed, what resources are going to be need, every annex is uh, to be determined later, to be determined later. It was not even in the most generous of characterizations a plan for how they were going to end the occupation in Ottawa. Um, when the plan did come together, and if someone wants to compare the supposed plan on the 13th with the actual plan on the 17th that uh, Ottawa Police Services pulled together, um, you see the crisp difference between these are the types of units we need, these are the resources we need, this is how we're going to do it, this is all the stagings of it on the 17th. It was not there on the 13th. But even beyond that, because I'm not fully aware how much of this is hindsight and how much of this was that general sense we got that people continued to say, oh, no, we're going to be able to get this under control. I think, and we're jumping ahead, but, you know, Jason Kenney was saying on on, uh, on the Monday morning in our, in our first minister's meeting, yeah, Coots is well on its way to being under control. We had heard that before, and there were fluctuations going on in the various, uh, in the various sites across the country. Um, it was not enough just to uh, have a plan to clear a couple of lanes. It was getting the situation under control so as to prevent uh, a recurrence or a restaging of a protest elsewhere. And that was what was very clear from all the, all the perspectives around the table, uh, that there was not confidence that we were on a track to getting the national emergency under control in the coming days, um, that it was continuing to, um, to be a, a situation that was not um, being controlled by police, by officials. Okay, so uh, we will get to the First Minister's meeting, but let's just finish off on this point with the 13th. Um, in a lot of the evidence that, that has come out before the commission, we see hesitancy and reluctance to, to invoke the Emergencies Act, so officials advising that this, this may make things worse, this may inflame tension, this may embolden protesters, et cetera. Um, and we also obviously heard from, from Mr. Vigneault saying, and the CSIS assessment, that there was no threat to the security of Canada under the CSIS Act. Uh, and then we heard Mr. Vigneault say, but I still thought that the the act was necessary and I conveyed that to the Prime Minister. So can you tell us, uh, was there consensus on the use of the act? Did, did, what, did, what did you hear about whether or not people agreed with, with this interpretation, whether you should vote the act? Yes, there was consensus around the IRG table uh, on Sunday the 13th. There is no question about it. And, and uh, Director Vigneault's um, answer on that is, absolutely consistent. Uh, CSIS, for example, wouldn't feel that they had the capacity to bring in a wiretap against one of the convoy organizers under the CSIS Act because that 
the tools that they have and the threshold they have to meet for what is a threat to the security of Canada, um, according to CSIS's evaluation, was not was not met. And that, that was something we heard from the very beginning. CSIS uh, continued to say from the beginning of the protest, we haven't yet, under the CSIS Act, uh, reached a level of threats to Canada. But the director of CSIS is also one of the national security advisors to me. And in looking at the frame and scope of the situation we were in, uh, was very comfortable in saying, yeah, for the purposes of the CSIS Act, this is not met. But for the surf, for purposes of the Public Order Emergencies uh, Act that the Governor and Council uh, has to make a reasonable decision about, we feel that it is met. And that was the consensus from officials around the table. And again, it was about um, not even just sort of that binary, okay, do we declare the emergency or not? It's do we declare a public order emergency so that we can bring in these specific measures. And as we went around the table on that, and my expectation is, and that was a virtual table, I believe, uh, but my expectation is uh, always, uh, if you have significant disagreements, this is the time to speak up. There was no uh, voice saying, hold it, um, we don't think you should do this, or I don't think you should do this. Um, which does happen from time to time in cabinet meetings and in IRGs. Uh, and uh, if someone had come up and said, okay, uh, we don't think, us at Transport Canada, we don't think that we should invoke a public order emergency, I would have said, thank you. I would have taken that into account. But I didn't need unanimity or full consensus in order to uh, make the determination in Governor of Council according to that that we were moving forward. Obviously, it helped. Uh, and in this case, there was consensus around that table that invoking the Emergencies Act was what we needed to do.